So VA flights are now going to be going through Heathrow Airport. Um, so I know that, again, from what I'm hearing, that's going to open up, uh, you know, more, it's going to be a better portal uh, through Europe. Uh, so it's, uh, from what we hear, good news for the island. Um, what can you tell us as far as what you're working on right now um, with this change? Yeah, we've taken um, three steps, basically, since the start of the new year. Um, one of them is uh, we've put out a RFP to get on the ground in market resources in London to help us win more leisure travelers from that market. Um, in 2021, to be fair, the volume overall for visitation is going to be down. It's going to take some while to recover. But we think a larger share of our total visitors in the future could be coming from London and Europe. So we're going to put resources in that market to try to create that outcome. Secondly, we're working more closely with British Airways this month on a fair sale that they have in market. Because uh, for the most part, the fair sales that are happening now are for travel later in the year, and that'll be after the flight moves to Heathrow. That flight's moving on March 28th. And then shortly after March 28th, we have GP happening here in Bermuda, and half of the eight teams that are competing in that um, racing are from the UK or Europe. So it gives us uh, a marketing foothold to actually get out and talk to consumers in those markets. So far, when we look at just the connectivity times, we see 18 cities in Europe that we could potentially work in to get visitors to come to Bermuda. 18 is a list probably too long. We're going to have to refine that list and figure out where our best case to win will be. And that's where that agency, those on the ground resources over there will be so useful because then we can consolidate our efforts into the cities where we're most likely to win. And hopefully in, uh, in the spring, in the summer, in the fall, start to see more visitors from that part of the Atlantic. 